In the previous video, we went over the geometry ribbon. Now we're going to take a quick tour of the tools on the structure ribbon. This is really the core of Inspire, where you can set up and run an analysis or optimization. As with the geometry ribbon, you'll see the home group on the left. To the right of that is the connections group. There are three basic types of connections available, fasteners, joints, and contacts. All three tools feature guide bars that search for locations where connections can be created or redefined. To the right of this is the setup group, which allows you to apply various types of constraints to your model. The loads icon includes tools for applying forces, pressures, torques, and supports. Note that you'll need to define at least one load case with loads and supports before running an analysis or optimization. The Displacements icon features tools for applying enforced displacements or displacement constraints. The Acceleration tools can be used to apply G-loads or angular velocity and acceleration, and the Temperature tool is used to simulate thermal loads. You can use the Materials table to define materials and assign them to parts, and the Masses tool to create concentrated masses. Finally, the tools on the Shape Controls icon open secondary ribbons that allow you to apply draw directions or symmetry. Note that shape controls are valid for optimization but not analysis. The final group on the structure ribbon includes tools for actually running an optimization or analysis. In both cases, you define options in the Run dialog and then click Run. When running an analysis, you'll view the results using the Analysis Explorer. From here, you can view the various result types animate the results, add callouts, and even compare results across different runs. For optimization runs, you'll view the results using the Shape Explorer. Use the Topology slider to add or remove material to find where the shape is fully connected. Use the buttons to analyze or fit a surface to the optimized shape, or to compare results from different runs. Next up, we'll take a look at the Model Browser.